I was really, really pleased with our defense. Uh, I thought we, we rebounded the ball extremely well, really at both ends of the floor. But uh, defensively, I thought we did a lot of good things. I thought our zone was, was very good for this early in the year. Um, just a great win over a really good team. I mean, they're very talented. They're going to be a great team. Um, they, will, they will do really well in the Big Ten. So I, I think that's a huge win for us this early in the year. Really pleased with our freshmen. Uh, I thought Lindsey Allen and Taya both played extremely well. Uh, Taya with a double-double. And Lindsay, just just her poise, I thought in the game was was outstanding. But Jewel, I, I thought was was the player of the game. She really she made a lot of big things uh, happen for us offensively. Got some rebounds and, and scored when she wanted to, and I was really really happy overall. Can you talk about the the way you closed out the first half? I think they only scored on like two of their last. 15, yeah, I, I think our zone flustered them a little bit. We, we were getting in some passing lanes and getting some deflections, and they were missing shots. I mean, they, they had some really good looks that they just missed. Uh, you know, first game for them, maybe just a little bit jittery. So, um, But I, I thought our zone really was the difference in the first half. How do they stand now on the nice girl test <laughs> that you gave them? <laughs> well, um, I don't think we're, we're quite where I want to be yet. How much of that are you trying to infuse there, and who is who within the players who's doing the injection? I think Ace and I are uh, are doing the injecting. Um, I'm working on Jewel. It's a it's a challenge. That's a challenge for me. Uh, these two are are very nice, but uh, I thought they played today like um, a little a little differently, a, l a little bit a little bit meaner. Not quite all the way there yet, though. <laughs> now, does that attitude on when a uh, their little guard goes in for a layup uncontested. Through, I mean, is that where that attitude comes in? Is it more physical under rebounding? Or where is yeah, that? I think attitude? it's the physical part. I, I think we want, we want to first we want to take more charges and block more shots defensively, and then offensively, just being strong with the ball and getting the and one. That that's what we're talking a lot about on offense is um, is getting that being physical, taking the contact, and scoring. It seemed like several times you'd get that 18, 19, 20 point lead and then they'd get a seven point run, cut it down. Just, you know, what was happening there that, you know, the foot kind of got let up off of the. the I thought, you know, we had a, a couple of stretches. We missed some shots. Our shot selection maybe was a little questionable. Uh, we, we took a, a couple of one on three, you know, a couple of times we really shouldn't have even been looking at the basket. And they went inside. I mean, they, they, they decided that they were going to go inside. We had a four guard lineup at the time. They were throwing it over us. And, uh, you know, we got out of the zone, went man to man because they were, they were beating us on the block in the zone. So um, that was a, a little area of concern for us. I thought they did a really good job looking inside. Coach, Taya, can you talk a little bit about what gave you guys that rebounding edge? Was it being physical? Was it quickness? Was it positioning? What, what worked for you guys? Um, I think it's something that we've definitely been focusing on uh, throughout the season and especially this week. Uh, we knew that they were going to be a really physical team and they were bigger than the teams that we've played before, so we really focused on it. You know, Positioning is definitely a thing and just being physical and trying to be mean. And I mean, that's the only way that you can muscle for those rebounds. So I think that's what we tried to do. Can you talk about just the, the impact of those second chance points, especially in the first half? I think you guys had like 14 zero um, I think, you know, we were just really excited for this game and we had a lot of adrenaline and, um, you know, it, again, that's something that we've been talking about, you know, going after those offensive rebounds, uh, not just ha taking one shot and then getting back on defense, really working and um, trying to get those second chance points. So, you know, we just put an emphasis on that and really tried to do that. Say, so, yeah, how out of character is that attitude, that, you know, chip on your shoulder type of attitude for you? Oh, <laughs> well, for me, it's... I'd like to say that it's not out of character, but I mean, I know, I know, I definitely am too nice. So I'm, I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I can get to that meanness level that she wants me to be at. <laughs> you talk a little bit just about you know, your approach to uh, you, you, you know, one shot or double double. Uh, how focused you on that? I was really just trying to get in there as a guard and try to be physical. Um, luckily, I have an ability to jump, so that kind of helps me as well. But it's all about hard and determination to get the ball.
You guys had three players with five assists, another with four. You had um, four players with eight or more rebounds. How important is it to have balance in those areas, distributing the ball and rebounding? I think it's very important. I think our team does a really good job of seeing the open person um, as well as just trying to protect the ball as well. Um, I know our post players are really good passers. Taya is a really good passer. She sees the floor really good, as well as Lindsay Allen. You know, she's a great post, great point guard. She her vision is unreal. So, um, you know, it helps in practice. And it, when your team, you know, you play a lot, you start to learn your players, um, you know, what they do and what they like. So it helps when you have good um, point guard and good passers. Jewel, with uh, Kayla starting off a little rough, two out of ten shooting. Did you feel at some point that you needed to maybe take over a little more on offense, take more shots? Not really. I just really trying to take what the defense was giving me. Um, you know, we all I think we we're all really anxious to get out here and really, you know, we were just hyped and sometimes it goes like that, but once we settled down I think it worked perfectly for us. Is it the transition game where you want it to be? Are people cheating on that to make sure you guys don't kill them uh, <laughs> with the transition? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of our biggest strengths is running the floor. Everyone on our team could run the floor, and that's good, and looking up. And if people send people back, then, you know, we run our plays and stay true to our offense. But running the floor is fun. <laughs> Coach, how, how rare is it? You know, um, Coach Merchant talked about their philosophy on not worrying about a second, second chance points. And after the shot, they would run back down to get their defense set. I mean, how rare is that what people have done against you that they completely abandoned that? You know, well, last year, I think our transition game was lethal, and, and teams weren't going to the offensive board so they could get back and try to guard us. This year, I think we're doing a pretty good job of running the floor. So I, I think they're just trying to, to gauge how they can stop the the transition game. And I thought they did. They actually did a pretty good job of it, I thought. Um, it hurt them a little bit on the offensive boards, but. Uh, you know, I think you got to pick your poison. How did you like the balance uh, distributing the ball? And I love the balance. So I think that the Princeton offense is an offense that a lot of different people have the ball and the opportunity to get assists. And I thought you saw some great passes from a lot of different spots on the floor. And I think that's that's the hallmark of the offense. It's equal opportunity, and, and a lot of people have the ball in their hands and, and have opportunity to do that. The rebounding, you know, I said at the beginning of the year, I thought this would be our best rebounding team ever if we did this. And uh, so I'm, I'm really pleased that everybody did their job today. Are you getting the scoring balance you want? You know, I, I, I don't worry so much about the scoring. I, I feel like we have people that can score. Michaela can come in off the bench and score. Madison made a huge basket. Markeisha Wright had a couple of huge baskets. That's what we need them to do. Just come in and, and you know, get six or eight points. I think that's all they, they have to do. And in the night when Kayla was just <coughs> off on her shots, I think, the, you know, we picked it up with Taya and, uh, and a couple other people. Is there a ballpark timetable on Natalie yet? Yeah, she's going to be um, another, at least another week. She's running right now, so we're, we're really thrilled. She's way ahead of Jumping schedule. In high yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're hoping uh, we're hoping another another week and get her in maybe like a individual workouts and things like that. So definitely by December first. Any last questions? Yeah. Unless there's a setback, I mean, that's our goal. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you.